It's back to the 1960s. One of the things that was happening, being a river community, you had a lot of people, you know, swimming in the river. I'm that's guilty a, of it. That's a good news, bad news thing. The river's right there, everyone can swim in the river, but the tides and the currents aren't always friendly. And what you had were people who were dying in the river. And not just in Milton, but anywhere. During the late 60s, early 70s, there was federal money that was avail made available to build swimming pools. So you had the Milton Community Pool, which really didn't obviously reduce the number of deaths in the river. Yeah, no. And they had lots of, you know, sock hops and things like that at the pool. So it was a busy place. One of the other little tidbits is, it's a meter pool. It's measured in meters. Now, I can't do conversions. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the truth is, your age, you may or may not have had that in school or a lot of it. I'm sure we did, but I just, math isn't my strong suit. But in the late 1960s, early 70s, the United States was trying to change to the metric system just like the rest of the world. Which would have made it. So, <laughs> so when these pools were built, sure enough, you know, they were all in meters to conform to international standards. So when you take a look at pools and you take a look at how are they measured, are they in meters? It's like, oh, they're probably built in the late 60s, early 70s. Yeah. You take a look at other pools that are mm -hmm. yards, they're probably newer pools when the United States finally gave up on the metric system. Interesting. So, well, those little tidbits. That's a fun uh, fact. Yeah, yeah. Now I can totally use that if I ever go on Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, what we also have then, uh, our local swim team, uh, the Rockets swim team. I'm actually, are we ready to start rolling? I've been rolling. Oh, you've been rolling. I thought, She's this, on it. She's I thought awesome. this was interesting. Yeah, no, that's definitely, I'm glad you were able to like, start getting that. Sorry about that. Uh, Before we continue, sure. can you just say your name again for the camera? Okay, my name is Jeff Nolter, and I'm from Milton. I've lived here for about the past 25 years. Please and I've been, continue. And I've been active uh, with the uh, pool for at least the last 10 or 12 years. I've involved with the uh, Rocket Swim Team, the Milton Swim Team. We also have people from uh, Warrior Run. We had an issue going back around 2008 when they actually closed the Watson Town Pool. So at that time, the Milton Swim Team needed a new coach. There was a coach from Watson Town without a pool. So we merged the two teams in the Watson Town Warrior Run and the Milton Swim Teams uh, combined to form the Rockets Swim Team. It's a youth-based uh, age group swim team and it's a great summer activity. What we find is it's a chance for the kids to learn more about competitive swimming and they'll grow on uh, in the sport. Often they'll move into like winter swim for high schools and things like that. We've had kids who have started in our local program who have gone on to district uh, championships, uh, state championships, and even they've gone on to the national level. level. Uh, Alex Moser was one who went on to uh, the nationals, YMCA nationals in Fort Lauderdale. So in little old Milton, in our nice little com in Milton community pool, we have kids who have really done quite well. Uh, I what see, other questions? Sure, I see from the pictures that the mm -hmm. pool is outdoors. So do they not have a wintertime practice space? They do not have a winter. Uh, it is typically a summer program. Uh, the Milton community pool does close uh, generally late August when the kids are getting ready to go back to school. Some of those kids, though, will go on to swim for their high schools or as independents. Now, Milton High School, as well as Meadowbrook uh, Christian School, they do not have swim programs. However, some of those kids will compete as independents within District 4. So they do get to swim uh, on the high school level. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So you said the pool was built in the 60s. To the best of my knowledge, it was built back in the 60s. Uh, it is a meter pool, has a diving well, uh, 25 meter competitive pool. Also has a very nice slide. 
I'm all about the slides. The slide is cool. <laughs> I, I have been on the slide myself. I know the kids love the slide, and when I've had the opportunity, I've gone down the slide, and quite frankly, it's a cool uh, water slide. It's fun. So do you work for the public pool, or what? I, I do not. I've been okay. uh, involved with the rocket swim team. Okay. And uh, the YMCA swim teams, so uh, we're all one big family. <laughs> So these two shirts, you said this, these were from the 2016? Yeah, actually, that was this, held? Uh, the blue shirt actually dates back to 2008. Uh, the pink shirt, I believe, was about like 2010, 2011. Okay, that's awesome. Um, so have you just held on to them, or like, are they from family members? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, family members, my daughter Catherine, uh, she was an active swimmer with the Rockets as well as with Meadowbrook Christian School and swam on the district and state level. So, uh, and now as she's grown up uh, this past uh, winter, she's actually been uh, helping coach for the Stevenson University swim team. So you have these kids who started off maybe you know, six, seven, eight years old at the Milton Community Pool who are now into college coaching. So the pool has really done a lot to help these kids in the area, like really it develop has. swimming careers. It has. Uh, it, you know, we say that, sure, they're able to learn about swimming, but from the swim team aspect, it's really so much more. They learn discipline, uh, they learn how to win, they learn how to lose. That's important. Not everyone wins. And not everyone gets a trophy. Yeah, it's it's important, and they're important things to uh, remember. And I think we've done very well with these kids. Definitely, that's fantastic. Um, so, what do your items tell us about the history of Milton? I know it's in a relatively mm -hmm. new history, but it's still history nonetheless. So. Well, some of it's new, but it actually dates back a long time. The swim team goes back a long time. So we've had uh, kids and adults. And uh, you know, lots of parents who've been involved in swimming. Being a river community, swimming is something that's very important. You should know how to swim. Oh, absolutely, everyone should know how to swim. And what we're finding is that if you look down through uh, the records, you'll see these names who have then gone on to bring their children uh, to the Milton Community Pool, and in some cases, even their grandchildren. <laughs> so it's cool. Has the community pool really helped to keep kids out of the river? Yes, absolutely. There's no doubt about that. It is a safe environment, not only for the kids, for families. And when you see families coming to the pool, they know it's a safe place. Obviously, there are lifeguards there. The pool's been well maintained. In recent years, uh, the borough of Milton has done an outstanding job in keeping the pool up and uh, really revitalizing the pool for the community. That's awesome. Did you have any final thoughts or stories you wanted to tell before we wrap up with the camera? Well, I just wanted to uh, let everyone know how important the pool is to the community. Uh, it's been good for not only kids, but for families. Families get together at the pool. Uh, it's a place to socialize. It's a place uh, where they've learned discipline and at the very least they've learned how to swim. Now do you have any like personal family stories that are really important to you that took place at the pool because you said your daughter was a swimmer so oh, I'm yeah. really curious if you have any like really outstanding memories. Oh there are tons of memories uh, watching uh, my daughter uh, swim at the pool. Uh, good memories, funny memories, uh, she's outstanding uh, butterflyer. Uh, she could do butterfly, I, if I try to do butterfly I sink. <laughs> Uh, one of her, one of the problems with an outdoor pool, when you're doing backstroke, you want to try to stay in a straight line. Mm -hmm. When you're at an indoor pool, you can follow generally like the beams on the ceiling. Our ceiling tiles, yeah. When you're at an outdoor pool, you only have clouds that are moving. <laughs> Not a very good. And one of my <laughs> favorite funny memories is of Catherine doing uh, an individual medley, which combines uh, freestyle, butterfly, breaststroke, and backstroke. And when you see lane lines in a pool, if you can imagine Catherine just kind of 
playing ping pong, going back and forth. <laughs> she was a great butterfly or a great breaststroker, a great freestyler, but that backstroke, mm, she was just back and forth. <laughs> it was funny. But uh, lots of good memories at the Milton Community Pool. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for doing this. Yeah.